What's up everybody? Welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andre and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MMTLP and Finra Saga. And for today's video guys, I have uh, several news, uh, some of them are really important because it is an update in the RICO cases, one of uh, two RICO cases that uh, are active right now. Then I will remind you about uh, the uh, lie in our case uh, that potentially will be uh, the second uh, most important per person in the United States of America. On top of that, uh, I will show you an update from one of our community members and uh, he had a meeting with Esther Pierce and I will show you the results of this meeting. They are quite embarrassing. And at the end of this video, I will show you another part of uh, the investigation of Rare DD in regards to our case. So, and before we dive deep into all of this, guys, please hit the like button for YouTube algorithm and drop me a line in the comment section if you think my videos are valuable for you. And let's start with this tweet. Nine hours ago, Meta News uh, wrote to this tweet. The potential next vice president of the United States has some questions for FINRA regarding MMTLP. This letter issued on September 26th of 2023. And let me show you some details of this letter. It was addressed to Chairman Gary Gensler and it was written and signed by Mark Rappa, United States Senator, and J.D. Vance. And J.D. Vance is the potential Vice President of the United States of America. And we will see it, I think, in less than one month. And let me show you some details. Dear Chairman Gasser, we write today requesting that the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission examine events surrounding the trade and halt of metal material series A preferred shares and provide appropriate information to Senate offices engaged on this matter. Since the December events, investors across the country have struggled to gain clarity regarding both the spin-off transaction and the halt on trading. Therefore, we echo our House counterparts and request that the SEC review these market events and any corporate filings made with the Commission. It is equally important to our constituents that the SEC further scrutinize these matters to determine if any wrongdoing occurred. We hope for a timely response to this matter and ask that the SEC provide detailed information and analysis. Thank you for your attention to this important matter. And guys, unfortunately, J.D. Benz and Mike Rapper haven't received any answer to their questions. Uh, but at the same time, guys, this letter shows that uh, if Donald Trump wins uh, the elections, in this case, uh, we can show this letter to J.D. Benz and potentially uh, he, he will uh, make some actions in order to push our case forward. It is just uh, an assumption and uh, I uh, think uh, we have to wait uh, for the results of the elections. But at the same time, guys, uh, this letter is another evidence that even uh, the highest level people in the United States were interested and potentially are interested in our case. Uh, next uh, news uh, is uh, this one. Meta News also reposted the uh, tweet that was published by Scott Trott and uh, this is the update on uh, his uh, RICO case. Let me quote it for you. It's uh, let it right time, folks. Just filed my last response and arguments to keep me out uh, of the gravity well of arbitration, which we all know is a kangaroo court controlled by the big money people. Those of you considering suing before December the 8th of 2022 should note all the points I'm making. The next event on the agenda is dealing with Finner's motion to dismiss which I have due on the 16th. The writ of mandamus will have to wait, and based uh, on new evidence that's showing, uh, that's showing up uh, in my inbox, sitting tight for a bit and letting the battlefield arrange itself now isn't a bad idea. I still am of uh, the opinion that the writ of mandamus is, uh, uh, if uh, all else fails, and uh, kind of sword uh, Damocles uh, hanging over their heads. But we've checked uh, all the boxes. Uh, still pushing to have Finra suffer an extinction, uh, extinction level event under the appointment clause, and I think it's uh, long overdue. I also think that holding off uh, on read of Mandamus uh, uh, until after the election may be a better idea anyway. 
I will open the floor to debate on that, as again all of us dirty little animals are off the maps uh, in this U3 thing. There are no right and wrong pathways forward at this point. Thank you, uh, my dollar sign, for selecting it out uh, in uh, the wild, and uh, Nicholas Raya for the foil work and refusal to quit. And uh, guys, uh, uh, Scott, uh, as usual, added the link to this document, and let me show you that it is a plaintiff towards reply memorandum to defendant Charles Schwab and Schwab Holdings opposition to plaintiff's motion for sanctions. And in this document, it is not the longest one, but uh, I want to read you just uh, several uh, uh, subtitles uh, and you will know the exact topic of this entire document and I will show you uh, the conclusion. Schwab did not contest the spoliation of evidence facts presented by Trot and therefore Trot's factual allegations should be deemed admitted. And uh, he explains, uh, uh, Scott explains uh, in uh, this uh, part uh, uh, how uh, Schwab pretty much admitted that they destroyed this evidence and they pretty much admitted that uh, uh, the facts that were mentioned in this evidence uh, were real. Next one, number two. The second circuit has ruled against uh, infinite arbitration agreements and Trot contends that the client agreement is uh, such a case. Again, a very thorough explanation of uh, this uh, uh, fact. On top of that, number three, under US and Vermont case law, Schwab has committed anticipatory repetition of its client agreement uh, contract with Trot. And uh, this part is related to the statement of uh, uh, Charles Schwab rep representative that uh, they would not uh, allow any trades even if FINRA approves it. On top of that, uh, uh, let me quote to the conclusion. Trot asks this court to deny arbitration to Schwab sanction Schwab in the amount previously stated by Trot or consistent uh, with the damage uh, the spoliation Schwab has done to Trot using the court's uh, calculus and to issue an adverse inference order uh, regarding the spoliation that is consistent with Trot's representations as to the contest contents uh, of the destroyed evidence. And uh, this, uh, this document was uh, written on uh, October 14th and signed by Scott Trot. So guys, we still have uh, a lot of documents that are moving uh, uh, from one side to another and uh, we have uh, to uh, wait uh, for some kind of rulings uh, from the judge because uh, right after this set of documents uh, will be accepted uh, by the judge, uh, we will see some kind of uh, decision that uh, potentially might uh, be a very important in our case. On top of that, guys, uh, we have a very interesting uh, update uh, from uh, uh, the new diligence and uh, uh, as you can see John Burda reposted this tweet that was published by Drew just uh, eight hours ago and Drew wrote the, th the funny thing is I met Commissioner Pierce among others uh, at the SEC I laid out the entire problem, everything we knew and uh, laid out all of the facts that lead us uh, to believe that FINRA acted against the best interests of the investing public. She quite literally could not defend FINRA's actions and stated that she, she didn't know how the situation could be resolved because it was uh, anomalous. Now here is a little bit of what people don't know. After she said that, I laid out a clear path to how this could be resolved. Without saying too much here, the path that I laid out uh, ended with an inimitable blockchain ledger. My honest opinion is uh, that this series of events involving blockchain was novel and had not been uh, thought of uh, as within the realm of possibility by the regulators. I say this because in response uh, Commissioner Pierce stated that the solution I laid out was uh, sound in principle. I then stated uh, that it was uh, my understanding that the company would uh, be cooperative with the regulatory establishment in facilitating the scenario I laid out. It was uh, at this moment I requested uh, the proper contact at the SEC that Greg McCabe could reach out uh, to for the purpose of uh, starting the process that I laid out uh, hand in hand with the regulatory establishment. That was when things started to get uncomfortable. Looking around, 
I had a sense that the SEC knew exactly uh, what was going on and everyone presented at that meeting knew that if uh, this scenario I laid out uh, came to fruition, it could cause, uh, let's say, disruption for certain Wall Street entities. And guys, uh, don't you remember that uh, Johnny Tobacco was also hired uh, uh, by Nance Breach back in the days? And it was uh, not the uh, most... Uh, uh, loud statement uh, uh, around the MMTOP community, but it was hired in order to establish some kind of uh, blockchain uh, uh, system that uh, should help uh, to uh, make a proper, uh, to make to have uh, the proper share count uh, on NextBridge hydrocarbon shares. And uh, Drew Diligence uh, is talking about the same things. So he also added. Needless to say, I don't think uh, that the contact uh, I was provided to pass along ever ended uh, up assisting NBH. I can't be sure, but eight months later, we are still here. So, is the CC complicit in covering up uh, the uh, misdeeds of Wall Street uh, fat cats at the expense of household investors? Has this regulatory body that is supposed to exist uh, uh, to preserve uh, the integrity of our markets, become another arm of for the entities uh, it is uh, supposed to regulate. I guess only time will tell. Bottom line, our ledger is broken, they need to fix it, and we are not going our anywhere until they do. And uh, yes, uh, this uh, is one of the solutions that potentially could have happened, but unfortunately uh, we are still here and no one uh, I mean, no one from the authorities want to solve this problem this way. And this means, guys, again, uh, despite the fact that, uh, in my opinion, it uh, should be a quite uh, wise decision to implement this uh, blockchain uh, uh, system into the share count of NBH, I think uh, the, only, uh, the only option that uh, we have uh, on the table right now is the litigation processes. Because uh, any other potential paths uh, is just uh, part of a hopium that we all have in this case. And uh, on top of that, guys, I want to show you uh, this uh, part of the due diligence that uh, was made by Rare DD, And uh, he added uh, this uh, part in the video format uh, uh, or in the video that he published just a couple of days ago. And I covered it in uh, one of my videos. But uh, here he explained it uh, in a written format. Uh, let me quote it for you. Uh, there was and is a problem related to settlement and clearance in TRCH that went unaddressed by the SEC. An SRO overseen by the SEC, the Options Clearing Corporation, OCC, suspiciously created a pathway for short sellers to avoid settlement and for their Series A preferred shares to become tradable. From this perspective, it makes sense that the SEC would ignore a potentially compromised uh, LMIT board of directors that bankrupted the company, because if counterfeiting was the reason that the share price constantly dropped, then bankruptcy prevents the chance uh, of uh, there ever being a squeeze that could expose the imbalance created by unchecked counterfeiting. Also, just like the OCC, the SEC has oversight over FINRA, select employees from FINRA and the SEC have been in contact since shortly after MMTLP became tradable against the wishes of the issuer. How coincidental is it uh, that the actions of FINRA contributed to short sellers once again being allowed to avoid settlement in a very questionable manner? We've heard Gary Gensler say that uh, uh, the SEC investigates FINRA at least once a year to see if they are following their own rules. But it's uh, been almost two years since the current highest uh, profile incident has been uh, the topic of Wall Street. So if impropriety could uh, be traced uh, all the way back uh, to the SEC's inability to effectively police manipulative short selling in TRCH, why would they care to allow the FSIO to properly conduct an investigation into the way FINRA handled the corporate actions uh, of MHLP and the U3 HALT that created an issue related to settlement clearance. This would explain why the bullshit and uh, cat data is being hidden. Why else would they hide uh, data that could prove that there is no significant imbalance uh, manipulation? This would explain why the SEC has only targeted investors and the former CEOs. This would explain why the SEC has never addressed the multiple issues related to MMTLP at multiple brokerages, including TradeStation, Charles Schwab, and many more. 
The tough one, though, is why certain Eagle Scouts uh, like Pit Session that promised an MMTLP share count are still yet to follow through. And uh, this is uh, quite interesting uh, part of uh, his due diligence. And uh, definitely, the deeper we get uh, inside this saga, the more questions they have, we have that are pretty much uh, need to be answered. And uh, these uh, answers uh, should be from the side of authorities. And guys, let me tell you my personal story. I have a wife and two children aged 11 and uh, 15, as well as a small dog. After 30 years of living in Russia near the Baikal Lake, we decided to move. Now we reside in Serbia. Although I don't own any MMTLP shares, I invest a lot of time creating daily MMTLP videos. I have been doing this every day without days off and holidays for more than one and a half years. Now I wish to buy back this time from my family, from my children. We've agreed that I will ask the MHLP community to support me and I will give all the money to the children. Therefore, if you believe that I am providing useful content for you and uh, wish to support me, you can join my Patreon account. For $5 a month, I will add your name to my list of supporters if you wish. Thank you in advance. The link you can find in the description below. So. I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm bad. Doing no cap. Only God wants you.